All right, get ready for something completely different on At Your Leisure as we head east for a river excursion like no other. Hi, I'm Darren Kinder. Join me and Jill as we experience the Erie Canal in a houseboat that changes all the rules about what it means to travel on the water. Plus, this is a vacation you can win from AYL. We'll have the details later for you in the show. Then Chad Booth discovers how hitting the trail differs from one side of the country to the other. It's recreation from east to west on At Your Leisure, starting now. Yes, where we are today. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder. And we are actually on the Erie Canal. And we're out cruising in one of Mid Lake Navigation's, what I would call a battle barge. I mean, this thing is 14 tons and it just cruises through just about anything, doesn't it? Battle barge is right, but in the best regard. Yes, it is actually very comfortable. There's several bunks in it, showers. I mean, it's, it's a floating houseboat. <laughs> And it has been so much fun because we have seen a lot of animals and birds and canaligators, everything out there. <laughs> a lot of canaligators. And you could go on this trip as well if you're our lucky contest winner. You'll notice Chad has been hinting about a new contest, and this is it. And we get to try it out and show you what it's all about. Yep, you get a week on the boat to come out and explore. And it's basically RVing on the water. You get on the boat. You go from town to town, they've got these cool bikes on it. You can get off and there's so much history and so many things to go look at. It's gonna be a it's gonna just be an absolute blast. But right now we have to get to our travel adventure. Darren, Jill, thank you. You know, I am so excited that we're actually giving this trip away. I've wanted to tell people about it for a long time. Actually I had a chance to cruise on those boats, oh well, well over ten years ago. So it's very exciting. But you'll notice that boating is very different in the east. But all outdoor recreation back east is different. I know, I lived there for five years. Out here, you know, if you're going jeeping as an example, you join a club and you take off on an adventure. You maybe do a cleanup and you decide which public land and which trail system you're going to go ride. Totally different story back east. There are no public lands to ride on. So you have to work as a club to find a place that you're allowed to go. And this is the story of one such club and their quest in Pennsylvania to find a writing area. Here back east, you have limited venues. I live in New Jersey. This is a three hour ride for me. For the most part, you have to travel. There's guys that came from Rochester, New York. It's a seven, eight hour ride. They're here because it's a place to go crawling. For John J.P. Perinello, that's just the reality of off-roading in the Atlantic States. Riding opportunities are few and far between. J.P. is president of the land access group Blue Ribbon Coalition that promotes responsible motorized access on both public and private land. During his tenure, he has had the chance to four-wheel in some of the most amazing areas of the country. But in his own backyard, he is very limited. You can find places to put a tire on dirt, but for the most part, they are small areas that don't offer much in the way of exploration or challenge. Just south of the small Pennsylvania coal town of Shemokin, though, there is a new tract of land where after years of talk, compromise, politics, hard work, the trails are finally open to OHVs of all types with the promise of bumps, bruises, and even some carnage along the way. Of the sheet metal variety, that is. We're at AOAA, which is the Anthracite Outdoor Adventure Area, recently opened, been six years in the works. We took uh, actually a trail, Bam Bam, an M Trail, and a few other trails, did some gardens and some waterfalls. What we have here is uh, 6,500 acres of what was mostly abandoned uh, mine property. It's owned by the uh, County of Northumberland. We cater to all kinds of recreation. ATVs, dirt bikes, dune buggies, motorcycles, you name it, it has a motor on it. We've probably had it here in the last couple weeks. The Anthracite Off-Road Adventure Area was originally just a place riders found to explore among the old coal mines of decades past. At that time, there was no legal access to the private land or organized trails to speak of. 
getting the land open and ready was a long and arduous journey that actually began 17 years ago when Barry Yorwarth and a friend decided that a legal area would benefit everyone. And we just wanted to make something that was legal and, and a nice place. And uh, we just wanted to start out with a couple thousand acres. So through politics and a lot of time and effort and getting people educated, it took this long process, and as the process moved forward, more people kept getting involved, and 17 years later, here we are. The adventure area isn't only large by Eastern standards, but it's beautiful, covered in green with tight trails and trees everywhere, very different from much of the West. But JP says that isn't the only thing that sets anthracite apart from Western crawling. You guys have some fabulous scenery, some huge rock, but a lot of it is smooth, it's like sandpaper. Here, as you saw, and you have pictures of, and I have broken pieces to prove, <laughs> uh, our rock is, is just chunky rock and, and, and scraggly and, and sharp, and it moves. It's a whole different animal. The Anthracite Adventure Area is open to the public and requires a day-use fee, but annual and weekend passes are also available. That's another reason we are so blessed in the western U.S. We have public lands we can access for free for the most part and travel hundreds of miles without seeing the soil. It's something that we sometimes take for granted. Recreation is different on the East Coast, and that's not a bad thing. But if we want to keep the access we currently enjoy here in the West, we have to be willing to put some skin into the game, as it were. The public lands, as we see, East Coast and West Coast are, are diminishing. They're trying to close them, they're trying to take it away. If you, if you, you want to enjoy your sport, you've got to support it. You've got to support it from the local level on up to the, to the, to the state level and then nationally with, with Blue Ribbon Coalition that fight to keep these lands open. I actually have the opportunity to serve on the board of directors of the Blue Ribbon Coalition with JP, who's their current president. And he is a very dedicated guy and he's a hard worker and he's a ball of energy and he has really done a lot for Jeepers in New Jersey and back in Pennsylvania. And all I gotta say is don't be surprised someday if you're traveling back east and you see this Utah license plate headed for Shimokin. Now back to you, Darren and Jill. If you'd like more information about our travel adventure, you can go to AYLTV.com or you can go to our Facebook page at AYLTV.com. I'm here with uh, Peter Wiles and we're here in Macedon, upstate New York and we're going to check out this cool new boat. Uh, the first thing we're going to start with is the orientation checklist, and it covers the safety and operating items on the boat for your trip. First of all, if you do have any unusual incident, etc., call us. To shut the engine off, pull up on the fuel shut off, and after the engine stops, you'll hear a tone, turn the key off. As far as maintenance on the engine goes every day, really, we don't ask you to do any maintenance. We simply ask you to lift the hatch, once a day, look inside, and if anything has changed, we want you to give us a call and talk to us about it. If the engine is running, will the house system have power, even if you have accidentally yes. run that system down? Absolutely, because okay. it will get it directly off the engine. The alter there, there are two separate alterna alternators on the engine, okay. one charging the house, one charging the starting engine. A little closet. There's a little closet there. With a rain jacket. There also are two heads and they each have a tank. So you've got a separate tank. Well, now we got the orientation done. This boat is gorgeous. How did you build this thing? Well, we did build them ourselves. Literally, they start off as a pile of steel on the floor and they're put together. Uh, it is steel. One of the reasons that we decided to go with that is because of the commercial nature of the canal and the concrete and steel that everything's made out of that you have to travel through, making it out of something durable like steel is about the only way to go. And what'd you say, it weighs 14 ton? It's between 12 and 14 tons, about <laughs> 25, 30,000 pounds. <laughs> well, I, I've always had fiberglass boats, so I'm always really careful not to touch anything with them, but boy, with these, it seems like they're more of a batting ram. <laughs> they're not delicate, <laughs> they're, they're pretty durable. <laughs> All right, well, it sounds really cool. Well. You check out these commercials and we'll be right back to show you how we can get this boat through the canal. I grew up in the Una Basin and I think that it's a good place to raise a family. My wife and I moved away for a short time and we ended up moving back to Vernal and, and we've been very happy. Our kids have done well here. 
It's a small enough community that you get to know a lot of people, but yet it's big enough that you can kind of get lost if you want to. So why don't you come out and just give Vernal a try? It's a great place to live. There's no need to travel far to find that perfect family adventure. Welcome to Yuba Reservoir. Boating, fishing, camping, and ATV trails await your next visit. Join us in Juab County. It'll change your family forever. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. We finally got underway. We had about an hour of orientation with Peter at Mid Lakes Navigation. He showed us all the nifty things about this boat. Yeah, it was just an hour orientation, a little bit of lock training in case you haven't done locks before. And then they let us go with this big boat. And if they'll let Darren go with a big boat, anybody can do it. That's right. <laughs> well, right now we need to get to a product review, so let's go see what's up. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Outdoor Cooking. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we're here with Ryan from Camp Chef. Ryan, what are we doing today? We're tailgating today. <laughs> yeah. We're tailgating. <laughs> we're going to do a little chili dogs, which is super easy. And Ryan has this great recipe with avocados that we're going to be grilling with this great stove, which we give away, by the way, with our sticker winners. If you have an AYL sticker, this baby could be yours. Love this thing. And we're going to throw some hot dogs on there and just get these going. So while those are cooking, um, and and the, uh, the chili's finishing up. Let's get started on our appetizers. Okay. So what we're going to do first is put a little lemon juice on our avocados. Okay. What that does is helps them so they don't turn brown. Right. And all we've done is slice the avocados in half mm -hmm. and removed the pit. What we'll do is we're just going to throw them on for two minutes face down. Okay. So for all the people out there that don't know how to get a hold of one of these, you know, Camp Chef products, how do they find them? Well, go to, go to campchef.com. We have a dealer locator there. You'll be able to find your closest dealer. Um, but also, you could try your local sporting goods store, and they'll usually have all the Camp Chef gear that you need. Great. Oh, Ryan, they look delicious. You're looking like they're done. Your hot dogs look great, too. I'm looking, <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to a chili dog. I spent a lot of time on those hot dogs today. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chili you have, it looks really good. Thank you. So I'm going to grab a little bit of chili over yeah. here. I'm putting some onions on here and some peppers. And now here's some uh, Look at that. salsa. Delicious. Well, let's have a seat and enjoy this. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. This hot dog looks good. This chili dog, I think you did a good job. Mm, thank you. Oh, I'm going Ryan. to town. OK, so you can enjoy Camp Chef in a parking lot, out in the great outdoors, in the wilderness, in your backyard, anywhere, because outdoor cooking is where it's at with this company. Camp Chef rocks. All right, great. we're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be right back with more AYL. Polaris is making room for 2015s with huge deals on every 2014 during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Hardworking Rangers have rebates up to $1,000. Legendary sportsmen start under $100 a month. Award-winning racers are up to $1,000 off. Get huge rebates and low financing right now during the Polaris factory authorized clearance.
Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. One of the fun things about the Erie Canal cruise is that you have a lot of time to, uh, between towns and between all the different activities that you can do. Yeah, you, ha you have time to play some cards with the kids and have some fun with them and, and really kind of get to know them a little bit. Rummy! Rummy! Why yada yada! <laughs> When we first took off on this trip, I was a little concerned that, uh, you know, this, this might be a, a real snooze cruise, but it really turned out to be a lot of fun. When it comes down to it, it it's fun just going through the canals that were built in the 1800s. You get to stop at all these little towns. We unload the bikes and went riding around, and it's really so much different from the way we do things in the West, where we just put it on a trailer and take off. A lot of these people don't even own trailers. So the only way for them to get these boats around is actually motor them around, but with in the water. So it's kind of a cool thing. A lot of people, this is how they spend their retirement, is driving from city to city and just stopping and hanging out and enjoying it. And uh, there's usually you know a lot of nightlife and different things around these wharfs, and so there's plenty of action to see and do. And uh, right. we were never bored a single day. A little later on in the show, we're going to show you some other great things that you can do from the boat. But right now, we need to get to our trailhead adventure. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure in Davis County, at the Borski Farm, one of many which produces high quality, locally grown produce, which are in high demand at Utah's farmer's markets. John Borski moves through his organic crops in Kaysville with the grace of a ballet dancer. In fact, John was a ballet dancer. I danced with New York City and American Ballet Theater, and I started dancing here in Kaysville at a little ballet school up in the middle of the town called Clyde Adams. But those days are done. I was getting a little sore from a couple of, you know, old injuries that I sort of inherited dancing. So John came home and took over the farm his grandparents built 80 years ago and began farming without chemicals. I've decided to go a different way and I'm going to keep going that way even though I pull weeds all day. John was a founding farmer at Salt Lake City's Pioneer Park Saturday Market. I was one of the first farmers down there when the market started there was just seven of us down here. Uh, that was 18 years ago and we used to sell out by 10 o'clock as fast as we could get vegetables over this table we could sell them and when we leave the market people would be chasing us down the street <laughs> trying to get more. Today, Saturday Market at Pioneer Park is jammed with folks seeking fresh produce, locally produced crafts, or to meet interesting people like Eric McGill and his African crow. Into the box. Oh, Good. Good. <laughs> From Richmond in the north to Ivan's in the south, there are dozens of farmers markets in Utah every week. Salt Lake County alone has 12, including the Sunday Market at Wheeler Farm where Sarah Fladmo buys her beef rather than at the grocery. Well, I know that it doesn't have any hormones or antibiotics, and it's grass-fed, so it's healthier for my fa growing family. All right, and you're supporting a local business. That's even better. <laughs> Sarah bought her meat from former state senator Alaric Marin, who likes the idea of selling his grain-fed beef on a one-on-one -on -one basis at the farmer's market. It's kind of nice, you know, you talk to the people who are consuming your beef, and, and uh, Get direct feedback. It works good both ways, I think. And like the Marin stand, Randy Lemons Booth sports the Utah's own logo, the Utah Department of Agriculture's marketing tool to encourage consumers to purchase local products. It commits you to staying with local produce, working mostly out of Grammys. I'll speak for myself. We raise all our own produce. We try to sell everything that comes off of our farm. And I couldn't resist a bag of Randy's cherries. Farmers markets have exploded in popularity. Utah spent nearly $16 million in direct purchases, including farmers markets, in 2012, nearly double what it was just five years earlier. We do Wheeler Farm every Sunday and downtown Pioneer Park every Saturday. And people are just flocking to the markets to get a taste of something local, something fresh, something different and new. And it's, uh, it's really good for us every, every Saturday and Sunday, June through October. Even young entrepreneurs are taking advantage of farmer's markets. Farmer's market, a good place to come and sell? Yes. How have you been doing? Good. All right, making a lot of money? Yeah. Meeting a lot of fun people? All right. 
The Ag Department's website lists 45 farmers markets in towns large and small, including Heber City's Thursday evening market. Every Thursday here we get fresh produce that lasts us a week and uh, I shop here quite frequently. Better than the grocery store? Uh... Oh, much better than the grocery store because we're not paying a big chain any money. We're paying him. And off by itself, a spray-painted sign lured us to a card table with three coolers of beautiful veggies manned by Farmer Don. He's 10. We grow a whole bunch of different veggies. Like, we have a bunch of corn and we have beets lettuce, celery, melon. How much work is it for you? It's quite a bit of work. This is actually my first time selling here. I usually sell in my driveway. How do you do? I do pretty good. Bree Stein at your leisure at the Farmer's Market. Thank you Rocky Mountain ATV MC for that great trailhead adventure. And we're standing in Seneca Lake. Yeah, and this lake is actually was created by a glacier. There were 11 others just like it that were made as the glaciers moved down through Canada and they created their own earth dams. Yeah, at the south ends, they created their dams and this is actually the biggest one. It's 35 feet long. Yeah, and 650 feet deep, which is 200 feet below sea level. That's pretty amazing. But it doesn't feel like a glacier lake. It's not that cold. No, is it's, it? it's actually very comfortable. It's kind of fun, but you know, it's kind of warm here right now, so it's been nice to jump in the lake and cool off. They also have a, a fun water park to uh, go in and let the kids splash around in. And uh, so they actually have a lot of different things around this park to, to do and, and have a good time with. Yeah, there are also a lot of vineyards around and just great things to do all over. Well, right now we have to go to commercial break, but when we come back, we've got more great things to show you if you win the trip from Mid Lakes Navigation to come on the Erie Canal. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? September 12th through the 14th, you can find that missing piece at the We Rock Grand Nationals, the Three Peak Recreation Area, just 10 minutes from downtown Cedar City. Catch all the rock crawling action and meet the pro racers in person. Two-day passes are just $25 and kids under eight get in free. We Rock National Championships, September 12th through the 14th, and visit cedarcityayl.com for all the adventure you can experience in scenic Southern Utah. Why buy a boat? Because your wife, your husband, your kids, your neighbors, your boss, your employees, your ex-mother-in-law, your cats, your dogs, they will all love you if you buy a boat. Start building memories now. Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main, executiveyacht.com. And welcome back. We've just been playing over at Seneca Lake State Park, having a wonderful time. Yeah, they've got a lot of neat things to do over there. One, you know, they have Frisbee golf, they have a water park, all these amazing bike trails. So there's a lot of stuff to do for a state park there. So much that we got starving and had to come over here and get some lunch. Yeah, so we're in Geneva. We had to walk off lunch a little bit. So we are strolling around town, looking at the great buildings architecture from the 1800s just is amazing. There are a lot of interesting buildings around here to look at. I mean, you can hear in the background, you can maybe hear the church bells chiming. That's really neat stuff you don't see in big cities anymore. But right now, we need to check out our contest winner and our calendar of events. Hey, AYL fans, I'm Steve Human, and I'm here driving along I-15, and I just caught an AYL sticker here. Right here, they're towing a razor. Check that out. Looking good in the rain. Swipe that windshield. License plate number 
X376BZ. You are our winner. Call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize, and uh, we will see you out there. You are the winner of a vacation package to Lizzie and Charlie's in Marysville and a day of ATVing. Congratulations. Give us a call. Now, for everybody else, obviously, we are starting our new giveaway right now. If you want to win the trip that Darren and Jill are showing you, you want to go to Facebook and sign up. It is live. You can go and sign up right this moment, and you can share for five extra entries. So share it to all of your friends, and you'll get five more entries for every one of them who signs up. So you can really get a lot of chances to win. This is a great, very different vacation. It's kind of like RVing on the water, where you're able to have complete control over where you go and how you navigate. You can stop wherever you want, see the sites, the historic places, ride bicycles on the paths, and while you're on the canal, you're gonna go through places like Palmyra, New York. You're gonna go through small historic towns and just be able to see things in a way that you can't any other way. It's a very different type of vacation, very interactive, very at your leisure. Go to AYLTV.com to find out more information. And remember, get on Facebook right now, sign up to win. We'll be announcing the winner on October 31st. Well, thanks, Steve. Our first event is right away with Ray down in Marysvale, Utah. We're going to go ATV in, camping. It's going to be a wonderful time. So you need to come out and see us. It's the 19th and the 20th in Marysvale, Utah. Our next event is Red, White, and Road. This is a great motorcycle ride. It's one of those places that you always want to go see. You go over Boulder Mountain into Escalant. We're going to go to Kodachrome Basin. whole bunch of things to see and a great bunch of people to come ride with. I'll be there. I hope to see you too. Again, it's in Torrey, Utah. You can make your reservations at the Torrey Days Inn. Hurry up. Rooms will go fast. Congratulations to our contest winner. And now check out next week's show. Chad Booth here. Next week, we'll be celebrating our season finale as our 12th season comes to a close. Can you believe it? We'll have the entire AYL family on hand for the adventure, and we'll prove that summer isn't over yet. Then, Corey Toon will preview one event where the watermelon is the star, and Terry Wood looks to the future of trail etiquette with the BLM. It's the AYL season finale next week. So next week's show looks like it's fantastic. Those AYL guys are always going out and having a good time, aren't we? They are. It's amazing. Hey, we're here at Lock 29 on the Erie Canal outside Palmyra, New York. And if you want your chance to win a trip like this, to go out for Mid Lakes Navigation and enjoy this fun trip, and I know I kind of was a little hesitant at first because I was like, oh, floating down the river, that doesn't sound that much fun, but we've really had a great time, haven't we? And look at this, we're sinking in yeah. a lock right yeah. now. <laughs> we're, we're a little worried that door behind us is going to stay shut. So, so remember, between now and the next time we meet, go enjoy the great outdoors with your family and friends at your, your leisure. leisure. I, I don't start welcome back, right? If you'd like more information about our track, that's right. If you'd like more information about our Facebook, backslash AYLTVcom. <laughs> well, if you'd like more information about our... <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on, so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.